enhancing connectivity between Singapore and the Chinese province can help boost relations and benefit people and businesses. Many countries, including Singapore, are very keen to enhance our economic ties with China. China has been fascinated by the little island Republic of Singapore in Southeast Asia for some decades now. Singapore is located in the Strait of Malacca. The People's Republic of China is interested in Singapore for reasons that go beyond just maintaining diplomatic and economic relations with the city-state. China is Singapore's third major commercial partner, accounting for 10.1% of Singapore's total foreign trade in the previous year. Singapore ranks as China's ninth largest trading partner, while China ranks as Singapore's third largest trading partner. Since China's rise to power and importance in the Asia-Pacific, Singapore has kept up its strong ties with the country, citing its common interest with China is far greater than any differences, as a reason for the two countries' continued closeness. And Singapore has set itself up as a firm supporter for China's participation and growth in the region. It has collaborated with other ASEAN countries and China to combat piracy and boost regional security, and it took part in ASEAN's first maritime exercise with China. The relationship between between the two countries is still strong, but it has been strained by a number of high-profile events in recent years. These include Singapore's stance against China in the South China Sea dispute, Singapore's support for the U.S. military presence and alliance system in Asia, and Hong Kong's seizure of Singapore Armed Forces vehicles in November 2016. Regardless of the tensions that have arised between them, Singapore and Beijing have repeatedly reaffirmed their strong partnership and bilateral ties, expanding their cooperation in many sectors, including military, the economy, culture, education, and the One Belt One Road initiative. Singapore has also committed to handling disagreements between the Chinese government and ASEAN, while providing unwavering support for China's position within the group. Since Lee Kuan Yew, Singapore's founding leader, passed away in March 2015, China has become fascinated with the island nation. Singapore is unique among Southeast Asian countries in that it has developed a sophisticated industrial economy without experiencing significant political reform. To blend authoritarian authority with good governance, meritocratic one-party rule, this is the most important lesson China is seeking to learn. Learning by non-democratic governments, as shown by the influence of the Singapore model on China, is not always a short-term, modular occurrence that is mostly reactive in nature, but may be long-term and highly institutionalized. The lessons taught, however, have become more of a caricature than reality, as it has become evident that China sees what it wants to see in Singapore, and China's current crackdown on dissidents is really pulling the nation farther away from, rather than toward, the Singapore model, as it squeezes the already restricted political space afforded in the post-Tainanmen Square massacre era. Prime Minister Li Shein Lung of Singapore traveled to China from March 27 to April 1, 2023, as part of an official state visit at the invitation of Premier of the State Council of the People's Republic of China Li Kuang. President of the People's Republic of China, Xi Jinping met with Prime Minister Li during his visit. There was a bilateral meeting between Premier Li Kuang and Prime Minister Li. Additionally, Premier Li met with both National People's Congress Standing Committee Chairman Zhao Leiji and Chinese People's Political Consultant of Conference National Committee Chairman Wang Huning. There was widespread consensus that ties between China and Singapore had only strengthened over time. Both nations have been planning for the future of their bilateral relationship with a strategic and long-term eye. Good progress has been made in bilateral relations thanks to the all-round cooperative partnership progressing with the times formed by both nations during President Xi's state visit to Singapore in 2015. This partnership takes into account the respective strengths and development goals of the two countries. In a broad variety of sectors, the two parties have developed substantial and multifaceted cooperation, and they have grabbed new chances in developing domains as a unit. By agreeing to elevate their relationship to that of an all-round high-quality future-oriented partnership, both nations may have a say in the future course and trajectory of their ties. Singapore has reiterated its support for China's efforts to achieve high-quality growth and has praised China's ongoing dedication to opening up and reform. China has praised Singapore's lasting contribution to China's modernization journey, saying it has set a solid basis for bilateral cooperation. 
and has pledged its support for Singapore's continuing progress and prosperity. Both parties reflected on the positive development of their bilateral collaboration on the BRI. This year marks the BRI's 10th anniversary, and in celebration, both nations are committed to expanding and deepening their high-quality cooperation for the mutual benefit of our peoples in the region, following the 2018 protocol to upgrade the China-Singapore Free Trade Agreement. Both countries celebrated the completion of the work program for subsequent negotiations, which reflected their shared commitment to high-quality collaboration. Improved market access for our companies to trade and invest in each other's markets is only one of the many benefits that will result from this revision to the CSFTA's business-friendly, liberal, and transparent standards. The parties were eager to finalize the CSFTA follow-up negotiations protocol as quickly as possible this year. Trade and investment, green and digital economies, food security, the financial sector, aviation, and people-to-people -people exchanges are just some of the areas where China and Singapore hope to deepen their cooperation in the future by building on their high-quality and future-oriented approach to bilateral relations. The two parties will collaborate to take advantage of synergies in emerging areas such as digital transformation and to jointly seize future-oriented business possibilities. New avenues of collaboration were anticipated, with the two governments planning to make the most of existing intergovernmental structures, including the yearly Joint Council for Bilateral Cooperation and China's eight provincial business councils. A commitment to further developing the ASEAN-China Comprehensive Strategic Partnership was reiterated by both parties. Singapore appreciates China's recognition of the importance of preserving ASEAN's leadership role in the developing regional order. Economic development in both countries will be boosted by China and Singapore's joint efforts to execute the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement and provide the groundwork for ACFTA 3.0, which would expand trade between ASEAN and China. They also agree to keep in regular contact and cooperate at the United Nations and other multilateral organizations, as well as reaffirm their support for multilateralism, the goals and values of the United Nations Charter, and international law. There are several important reasons why China and Singapore need to maintain their strong connection. Interdependence in the economy Singapore is an important trading partner for China. Singapore is an important hub for China to access Southeast Asia and beyond for commerce and investment. Chinese businesses find Singapore an appealing location because of the country's advanced infrastructure, business-friendly legislation, and highly trained workforce. For Chinese companies and people, Singapore is a key offshore financial hub that boosts capital flows and promotes financial cooperation. Both China and Singapore benefit from their economic links to one another, so cutting them would be a bad idea. Positioning strategically Because of its central position in Southeast Asia, Singapore is a very important ally for China. When it comes to facilitating China's trade routes, Singapore's ports and shipping facilities are essential. The city-state's reputation for stability and neutrality helps keep the peace in the area, serving Chinese interests. The loss of China's relationship with Singapore will weaken China's regional standing and provide openings for competition. Impact on the region Singapore plays a pivotal role in regional politics because of its strong diplomatic ties and reputation as a reliable mediator. The Chinese government recognizes the importance of Singapore as a reliable mediator in Southeast Asian affairs. Singapore's links to other regional powers, notably the United States, serve as a conduit for Chinese diplomacy and communication. China's regional influence and capacity to affect events to its advantage may be diminished if ties with Singapore deteriorate soft power and cultural diplomacy. The diversity of Singapore's population and the city's status as a global hub both contribute to the country's soft power. Singapore's soft power is highly valued by China, which wants to improve its international reputation and cultural diplomacy. A favorable image of China is promoted via cultural exchange programs, educational institutions, and international events hosted in Singapore. China's aspirations to increase its cultural influence and soft power would be hampered if relations with Singapore were severed. China's extensive economic dependence on Singapore, as well as its strategic orientation, regional influence, and the advantages of soft power received from its connection with Singapore, make it vital for China to preserve and deepen these links. If China were to lose this important cooperation, it would have far-reaching ramifications for China's economic interests, regional influence, and ambitions for soft power. This was all about today. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and make sure to hit that like button. See you in the next one.